Okay, so we got a bunch of trees planted on the far side here. I've got the top dam all finished out and and packed down. I'm probably going to wait for it to rain again and and pack that it uh, again. The top part, luckily, I had it dry out for me, so I was able to hit it with a rototiller and, and get some more material out of there. I'm probably going to wind up doing that again if I have the opportunity. We'll see how the rain holds. And here's my nice packed base layer for this dam. And haven't gotten down much work on the second dam. Managed to get all of this tilled down and flattened out, scraped up. There's a bunch of spoil piles of rock and weed. Uh, so we're going to hit this again. And this is going to be round two with the machine. So this is pre-round two with the machine. And this is where the rest of our ponds are going to go. Uh, up in the top part of the yard here, we're going to scrape that off and then put some more holes to uh, put an orchard in there. And there is the next machine. What I learned with the first machine is don't go light on the equipment. It was wound up being a total large expense without getting the total effect I need. So this is our new setup. This is what we're gonna use this time and I think this will be able to get the job done today. If I had done this in the first place, we would probably be done with this step today and I would have saved myself a tremendous amount of money uh, on the other machine. So that's where we are.